thousands of firefighters in California are battling a raging wildfire near Yosemite National Park. Just in the past 48 hours, the Oak Fire has exploded in size. The governor there declaring a state of emergency. More than 6,000 residents have been forced from their homes. The region's extreme drought is fueling the flames. Firefighters there are working around the clock trying to get the upper hand on the raging fire. The blaze is still 0% contained. The intense heat is creating smoke plumes that reach hundreds of feet in the air, restricting visibility. 2,000 homes and businesses are in danger. For some, it's too late. The fast-moving fire has already consumed several structures. Tonight, thousands are without power, and PSENG is not giving any indication about when it will be restored. ABC's Alex Forche leads us off once again tonight from the fire zone. Tonight, a state of emergency in Mariposa County. The Oak Fire gaining ground overnight, consuming more than 14,000 acres. The blaze raging near Yosemite National Park. Emergency crews working around the clock. On the ground and in the air, but so far, 0% is contained. You can see further down the road, the fire really starts to intensify. It really is a challenge because of the amount of heat that's in this fuels. It makes it challenging for our firefighters to fight these fires. Well, and I see these bulldozers behind us. It looks like they're clearing space. This is the beginning of that fire break that they're starting to put in. So they're trying to remove that flammable material away from the edge of the fire. So when the fire backs up to it, that the fire goes out. Mariposa County is home to more than 17,000 people, firefighters trying to protect residential areas, but for some, it's already too late. This is the new reality for so many residents that live here. Charred remains of a once normal life, patio furniture, cups, toys, all destroyed. Portions of the county under mandatory evacuation orders. And I knew this was a tinderbox that was gonna have to burn some sometime. We made it out. I can always rebuild. Thousands of residents uncertain of what the future holds. It's touch and go with, you know, the new fire activity in the daytime now. There's, you know, it can go any direction. It seems like we're hoping for the best because we don't know yet if the house is there. Lindsay, going forward, we're expecting a continuation of these hot and dry conditions. Also, a concern for dry lightning. But one of the things that firefighters continue to stress is the key factor in fighting this fire is the wind. Lindsay? Dry and windy, not a good combination. Alex, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.